Hey guys, what is going on? Daboki here once again. It is time for a little MapleStory Talks. I wanted to talk to you guys about some news that is coming up with MapleStory while I train a bit here. Incernium, by the way, first time in Cernium. Let's go. I'm here just training on some of these fire spirits. But I don't usually do this much anymore, talking about MapleStory news. I used to have Maple Monday, which we can kind of inform ourselves on what was going on. But nowadays, I have been kind of out of the loop. But I did want to say a quick special thanks to Hide and Cheek, my little Maple Story spy. He was feeding me some news today that really caught my attention, and it kind of made me want to make a video on my thoughts on this this news, the events. So you guys may have heard, but Maple Story is releasing a new reboot server for GMS. And they are now naming their reboot servers as well. So this reboot server that I'm currently in is going to be called Kronos, I believe is what it's called. And the new reboot server that's coming out is going to be called Hyperion, which is very interesting. I was not expecting a new reboot server to pop up. That was some pretty big news in my opinion, them kind of dropping a new server on us. And I'll tell you guys more of my thoughts on that later. But one more little piece of news here is that they are also delaying the sixth job for about two weeks. I believe that is coming out. Let me just double check that on November 28th. So six job was supposed to release, I believe on November 15th, because that's when new age is dropping and that's when the new server will be releasing as well. So officially new age will start on November 15th, but the six job has been delayed by a few weeks till November 28th. Very, very interesting. I am actually pretty excited about this. I, I mentioned it a few times before saying that like, Oh, they will never drop a new server for reboot. Like, they want to make sure they're consolidating their player base. They don't want the servers to feel empty. That was my old mindset. But then once Sheik told me that they were dropping a new server, I was like, that makes so much sense. That is actually a really good idea. And I think that sounds really fun because they're having a hard time to bring back Maplers and also just to introduce people to this game and I think it's just kind of intimidating right now in the state of this game because of how much has happened and how far people are at in the game right like when you see people playing now it's like oh game doesn't start till 250 da 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 da, da and like you need to make 10 characters at 200 for links and legions and people are like thinking about all these things that they need to do to be successful in maple story and it's just very daunting it's intimidating to even start but now that they've leveled out the playing field they made a brand new server people that are now coming into the game veterans and returning players new players they'll all be at the same starting point and we can all progress together in a sense and i think that's going to be pretty cool so i am planning on making a new character and kind of doing a fresh start which i think a lot of people kind of want to do that too it, it just sounds like fun to be able to start new make some new friends and try to progress together because there will be no more carries well First of all, the carry game has been, they're trying to move away from that with the whole you need to do more than 5% damage now to bosses to get drops. But I think like just being on that same level of playing field and starting together is going to be pretty cool. So I'm excited to see where Reboot Hyperion takes us. And I would say if you guys are thinking about starting MapleStory up, um, think about the new server. You know, it probably will not be as populated, of course, as I guess we'll call it Kronos Reboot 1. It's going to be weird saying these names now, Kronos and Hyperion, but we'll get used to it. Oh, sorry, EU Reboot. I'm so sorry. EU Reboot is also getting a new name, Reboot Solace. I, I apologize, EU Maplers out there. I didn't mean to leave you guys out. You are not receiving a new server, but you are getting a cool name called Reboot Solace. So that's going to be kind of fun. Um, the thing is, it's going to still be less populated in my opinion, just because we have so much in these in, in the first reboot, right? Like all of our links and legions is kind of the whole thing on not wanting to transfer even from regular server to reboot is just because of how much you've already progressed with but i think now that there's a new server that's starting up for reboot it might also motivate 
players to join it from regular server too. You know, kind of pick a little bit from everywhere, I would say. Like, a little bit from Reboot 1, a little bit from the regular servers, and then of course just returning players coming back to the game or brand new players wanting to give it a shot, you can kind of now see how it would be just progressing from ground zero. So it's going to be kind of cool. I don't know what character I want to make though. I am a little bit on the fence on, on a lot of characters. Essentially, I want to still, of course, maintain my characters and my account on this server, on Kronos Reboot 1, and make a hyper burn here. But for Reboot 2, I don't know. I may go a complete different play style of character choices because I went a lot of, like explorer archers here, or I may just fall back into the explorer archers again back in the new server but I, I would like to see myself kind of stray away and do something else maybe you guys can give me some suggestions as well on what character you think that would be fun to to start brand new with this is more so for players that are returning or thinking about coming back or even brand new players I think this is a great time to come back guys. We got Hyperburn, which is a character that will level up essentially three times every level up to 260. And on your way up, you're going to be getting a lot of good rewards, a lot of good like boost materials. So it'll be really nice to make your character there. Let me just go ahead and accept my daily mission here. I forgot to even accept that. I think a new day started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New day started. So we'll go ahead and accept this get our sack symbol up and leveled up here um so yeah hyper burn great time to start i think the biggest question and concern though that like the, the feeling of um overwhelmingness is what hyper burn to make you know that's also the big thoughts and questions that arise because you think like oh i gotta really be careful on the hyper burn character because this this character will potentially be my main i i think it will be of course main potential especially if you do it on the the new server just because of all the boosts you get so i would say you know think a little bit about a character that interests you but don't think that you're going to be fully stuck with it just remember you're still going to be in that play style of every character is just going to benefit your account right so really just play through a character if you don't like it it's okay because it'll still help your account out in some way but do a little bit of research i would say and kind of think about a character that you would enjoy playing especially if you're starting in a new server don't think too much or for my opinion at least i probably won't think too much on like a character for link and legion if that makes sense like i will wait for mega burns or level up events to kind of fill out my account with that i think my initial hyper burn that i make i would want to make it something that i would enjoy to play just so i can have fun at the start you know and just kind of get boosted up with all the rewards and things that maple story is going to provide us so you know keep that in mind too i think maple story does have a little bit of a hard time selling this whole point on like maple doesn't really start till later on like in order to get to the juicy fun part of maple you need to get past 200 you need to potentially get past a few characters you know like being able to find that grind and where it starts to become fun it does take a little bit of work you know, so don't get too discouraged if you can't feel it right away, but just know that it's a marathon. It's, it's a work in progress. Just kind of take the small achievements as it comes and set your goals, like set your little milestones that you can achieve that are in sight. And I think you'll have a really good time. I, I'm excited for it. I hope to start a fun series here on YouTube, at least when Hyperion drops a new server and hopefully we can just progress together. I think that would be a good time. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions, man, on just like this new server and some classes that are interesting you. And like, what is a good Hyperburn class to start, at, you know, for, for yourself? But I really think like making a class and kind of figuring out your Hyperburn is very personal. It's just preference, right? Like you can't really have someone tell you what a good class to make for your main because that should just be 
what you enjoy <laughs> you know uh, be, people come into my chat a lot asking like yo what should i make as my main that's a hard question that's kind of like i guess almost like people coming to you asking like yo what what kind of career should i do for my life what what's my favorite color that's like stuff that's you got to feel it for yourself you know you got to do some trial and error as well you know there's some like interesting career tests that i took while in junior year of high school I remember which i thought at the time was like total bs and hurtful but now i'm like thinking maybe they're on to something so i took this test and they told me that i was gonna be a birdhouse builder or a forest fire watcher which at the time you know my friends were all getting like doctors physicians professional soccer player and i was like birdhouse builder so I, I really was kind of like yo this sucks but now that i'm thinking about it those careers sound really fun to me you know so maybe the tests weren't that far off watching for forest fires i played the game called like fire watcher or something where literally the game is you watch for forest fires right you're like a park ranger and you watch for it and it was really peaceful and fun so i don't know i think like it could be somewhat accurate but anyways that's not part of maple story i was just saying maybe it would be nice that if maple story had some sort of main uh test or quiz that you could take to kind of like you answer a series of questions and then it can match a potential main for you to at least like um to check out you know like oh yeah that that sounds cool you know if, if that's something at least give you a direction right like i know my direction is archers i love archers just their aesthetics their play style their weapons their personalities it just kind of goes deeper than just the characters themselves i think just because of the, the connection i have to them but it would be nice to have some sort of direction like that anyways i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking i was just training a little bit doing some of my dailies here getting a few xp 40 percent we're just moving along slowly but surely i just wanted to give you guys some of the maple news here that's coming up for maple story gms it's exciting times big updates are happening i hope you guys are enjoying it much love one love this has been deboki and i'll be seeing you guys later goodbye